a syndicate came into our store and uh, stole a whole lot of baby milk. And you can see here are the three members of the syndicate, one, two, and three. So let's call them green shirt, black shirt, and white shirt. Uh, in green shirt's trolley are the couple of milk pounders. The lady with the black, with the white top has a black bag and she just handed it off to the lady with the green top. They now take articles out of the trolley and they put them up to hide what is going on. They're now transferring the milk powders into the black bag and they hand off onto the lady with the white top. Uh, the trolleys full of goods get abandoned in the shop. So the obvious one, the one with the green shirt, is the one that people see taking the goods. And here comes the, white, the lady with the white top and she ducks out the door and goes and packs it in the vehicle. Here it is 30 minutes later and we're collecting goods off the shelf again. So they've got large boxes of cornflakes and, and goods and toilet paper which they can use to hide the milk. Again, going to the aisle, here comes the lady with the green shirt. Again, they position themselves so that the trolley face each other, make space for each other. The lady with the white has been well now gone out of the store. Right, there we go. Same routine as before. Bag into the trolley. We have a box of cornflakes or something that we're blocking the view. And we're packing the goods into the six, six tons of infant formula into the bag. There you go, as you can see, quite heavy enough from a very really light bag. Hang it on the back of the trolley and they're now going to depart out the front of the trolley. So the first day they came into the store, we did not see them. They were only picked up on the second day. There they are, different angle, showing them on the inside of the store. She hikes the bag up over her shoulder and they abandon both trolleys that they had with them and they walk out between the tills. They then stand at the front of the shop and watching to see whether or not they've been observed by security. Uh, what they do now is they walk out behind another customer that's walking with a trolley, see her coming and here they slipstream her. All the time the lady with the actual milk formula is actually at the back behind the other lady and you'll see that they actually change position now as they go out the door and there you go the lady with the green top is out. Now those are the two sessions that we got on the one day. Here they are again having gone to the milk section, baby's formula section got the products. The lady in the green now, this is the, the next day, she has the milk powders, um, the baby formula in her bag. And they abandon the white trolley. Yeah, they head from the aisle towards the tills. The lady in green is going to be the walker. And there she is, she goes into the aisle. And she now comes to the next part and you watch she bumps this customer and he turns it on and goes, what happened there? And she walks out. The lady with the black hat abandons her trolley and then goes into the back there. She is watching to see whether or not the lady in the green. And the lady in the green is now heading out the door. But this time security is watching her. Security calls her back and the other security comes out of sight. Here's the second lady, second security gets him. They're taken downstairs to a private area where the bags can be searched. Uh, three ladies were 
brought down, but their modus operandi is that only one of them will steal at a time. The lady in the, with the green has got the baby formula, the other two don't. You'll see now, she's the one that opens up her bag and there is the milk formula. In the meantime, the other security have seen where their vehicle is and here they are, the rest of the milk powder. So this is about 10,000 rands worth of milk formula and the proof is that the milk formula batch numbers match the ones that are in our store and that is how they steal baby formula out of a supermarket.